so today discussed regarding the topic subject is a power electronics and plc the topic is chapter 1 fifth semester electrical engineering topic is understand the construction and working of power electronics device by ar naik content introduction what is a thyristor basic acrs how does acr works characteristics curve of acr importance of acr triggering of acrs switching characteristics of acr two transistor model of acr protection of thyristors triac diac lacr thyristor commutation process voltage and current ratings of acr ujt power mosfet igbt pto power diodes so today go to the introduction of the acr acr means silicon control electrodes which is a power electronics device is on a unquestionable of the great interest today it was first introduced in 1956 by the bell telephone laboratory it can convert alternating current into direct current and at the time same time can control the amount of power feed to the load thus it combines the features of rectifier and the transistors thyristor known as silicon control rectifiers or scs the silicon control rectifier is a four layer solid state device that controls current flow scr is a three terminal device the three terminals are anode depend by capital a cathode depend by capital k gate depend by g scr applications two main uses of scrs are rectification regulated power supply static switches motor speed control and battery charger heating element control switching amplifications see that this one is the symbol of the scr the scr having three terminals are marked here upper terminal is anode lower terminal is cathode and the middle terminal is automotive gate then scr consists of four layers p and p n structure with outer layer are referred to as the anode p type cathode n type the control terminal of the scr is named the gate and it is connected to the p type layer located next to the cathode the three junctions are normally denoted as j1 j2 and j3 out of which junction j1 is the upper junction junction j2 is the middle junction junction j3 is the lower junctions they are numbered serially with j1 being nearest to the anode scr has three basic states first one is a forward blocking mode second one is a forward conducting mode third one is a reverse blocking mode so first come to the forward blocking mode in this mode or state the scr operation is such that it blocks forward current conduction that would normally be the carried by a forward bias diode second one is forward conducting mode or forward conduction mode or particular known as your on state in this mode the scr has a rest into the conduction third one is your reverse blocking mode or off state in this mode or state the scr blocks the current in the same way as that of a reverse biasing diode see that this one is the characteristic curve of the scr this is a curve drawn between anode voltage va and the anode current ia see that here this one is va that is anode voltage this one is ia that is anode current the curve drawn between anode voltage iba and the anode current i in on other characteristics curve of the scrs so that here the, the study we have studied the entire characteristics curve in three different modes or the three different regions first one is your forward blocking mode that shows in the fourth quadrant of the wave characteristics in this mode we are giving the supply voltage to the anode and cathode terminal what the reverse bias junction j2 is present there that's why the scr will be not turned on 
So for turning on the AC here, it is necessary to provide some additional voltage to the gear terminal AC. Suppose we are giving the voltage so that the current will start increasing initially IG0, IG1, IG2, IG3 in this we are increasing the jet voltage. Corresponding time the currents are flows through the device. Whenever the, we reach the broad volt breaker voltage BBO, then the junction J2 breaks down. Immediately the current goes from the minimum value to the maximum value and the voltage goes from maximum value to the minimum value. In that condition, see that you are come to the first quadrant of the vehicle characteristics. In this car, see that the solid line is there. That means in that case, all the junctions are in power devising mode and the SCR behaves like a single current carrying conductor. So, you can say the SCR will be turned on. That means your on state is there. And then two currents are marked here. That is one is your latching current. Second one is your holding current. What is latching current? It is the minimal one on current through which the SCR remain in on state or this current is associated with turning on process of the SCR. Second one is your holding current at the minimal on current below which it must fall for turning off the device. So holding current is associated with or turn off process. Then come to your third mode that shows in the third quadrant of the VA characteristics curve that is in this curve, again let us making anode will be negative and cathode will be positive. After doing so, it is observed that the device does not exploding, it is as remain before. So from these three characteristics, we concluded that the SCR is a three terminal, four layer, PN, PN device and is unidirectional in nature. So here the VPO means your forward recovery voltage. And VPR is the reverse breakover voltage. The importance of the SCR. So it has small size and gives trouble free service, reliable fast action and lightweight, no mechanical part, noise less operations. Then finally, silicon control rectifier are widely used in many areas of the electronics. The SCR circuits can be used for many power applications as these electronic components are able to switch high currents very easily. In addition, these electronic components are very cheap and they are widely available. Then come to the SCR triggering methods. Before study about the triggering method, you must have to know what the actual meaning of the triggering. Triggering means on state. On state means making the device from forward blocking mode to forward conducting mode or making device from off state to on state. So for that reason several methods are adopted for turning on the SCR. First one is your forward voltage method of triggering. Second one is your DV by ET triggering. Third one is your gate triggering. Fourth one is your radiation or light triggering. Fifth one is your thermal or temperature triggering. Let us come to the forward voltage method of triggering. In this mode, an additional forward voltage is applied between anode and cathode. When anode terminal is positive with respect to cathode, junction J1, J3 are in forward biasing mode, junction J2 is in reverse biasing mode. No current flows due to the depletion region in junction J2 is reversed biased. As anode cathode voltage is further increased, as a voltage VBO, that is forward vector voltage, the junction J2 undergoes an avalanche breakdown and so a current flows on the device tends to turn on even the gate circuit is open. See that here the forward voltage method of triggering is the diagram. In that case, see that here during this period we are increasing the voltage. No gate current is there, gate circuit is open. In that case also, the voltage device attain forward breaker voltage VBO, then it will be turned on. Then you can write this is here, this one is a solid line, and forward conduction mode is there, and latching current point is marked here. Similarly, this one is the reverse leakage current, that shows the third quadrant, fourth, third quadrant of the vehicle. And this line is nothing but your reverse blocking mode. 
on this so the reverse blocking mode is shown in the third quadrant of the vi cartesian square so that here anode will be made positive in that case and cathode is negative in that case get circuit is open here j1 is in forward biasing mode j3 is in reverse forward biasing mode and j2 is in reverse biasing mode